Hello, hello, hello. How are we all? All right, let's just hit the mute button on my laptop because hearing yourself live on Facebook is never a fun thing. How is our Friday going? Let's just straighten up my setup here. Dun, dun, dun. That's just made it worse. Hello, Elizabeth. I see you, Vanessa. How are you? Good morning, Diana. Okay. Welcome to another live little Facebook, little demo class, little situation today. Um, as part of the great international craft show, uh, here in Australia, I am doing some online little mini classes and demos and little technique -y things over the next couple of days, uh, showing you some fun things. We have got some great specials on our website today, nataliemay.com.au, and you will find 15% off of alcohol inks today. You will find 15% off of all and create products which is what i'm going to be using today and you will also find 15 percent off of all stencils today so that is awesome just drinking my coffee sorry mm. righty oh so i thought that today i would talk to you about um a little project i've been doing um in conjunction with all and create they are doing a fantastic challenge over the next couple of months and they are called Thrinchies. Now, if you follow me on Instagram and you've been watching on uh, the internet, on the interwebs, you will notice that I have popped up a couple of little projects that look like this. These are the four that I have done or shown so far. I've done a lot more. I'm just going to do a little zoom up for you, maybe. Come on, come on computer, do your thing. Apparently I'm not, let me bring it up to camera. Um, so they are little three by three pieces of artwork featuring stamps and designs by the super talented Tracy Evans, who is one of the designers for All and Create. Uh, so I have been invited to be a guest artist for them and I have got 10 of these little guys coming up that I will be showing you and then um, I'm going to make another one with you right now. So what it is all about, there is actually a Facebook group that you can find called All and Create Fanatics um, and the Thrinchy Challenge is a three by three inch little artwork using Tracy Evans designs. Um, so you, you can do a little search on Facebook and on Instagram and find some really amazing little designs and each day they have a different theme. So this one here was for day three, which was for the circles theme. As you can see on this one, I have used the Tracy Evans stamp in the background and the foreground with some Lindy's Magicals to feature circles. Uh, this one here is I think this one was, I can't remember what day this one was, what the theme was. I've written day nine, but I don't think that's correct. Um, so this one, we've used butterflies. Uh, we've used the stamp. I've got a little acetate butterfly in there. I don't know if you can see that little guy. Uh, and we've got some magicals in the background. We've got a bit of stenciling in the background. This one here was day two, which was wings, where we featured wings in the project. So I used a couple of Tracy's stamps here. We've got a background one. We've got a flower stamp here. Um, and you can see that lovely shimmer I've used. These are using Lindy's Magicals. Um, then butterflies, thank you, Elizabeth. Um, yeah, it's right there. And then this one here is day six I did, which is feathers. So using one of her stamps and I used some scrap effects chipboard in the background. Um, and you can see on this one, I've used, I've doubled it up. So the 
the little um i've got it's got lots of layering so the original stamps underneath and then i spray stamped it again and put it over the top so lots of little layering bits uh and i actually created two of these as i was going so all of my projects um, that i'm doing i created two simply because i love doing these these are really fun they're really relaxing to do and they um then i could choose which one i liked best as my favorite so they're both exactly the same and i do exactly the same technique on both of them but i just kind of decided which one i liked the best um, and I, I may even give these away coming up in a, in a bit of a giveaway and I'll turn the other set into a bit of a frame I can put on the wall. So today I'm going to create day 16, which is actually tomorrow's date, but I'm going to create one today, which is bloom. So they've had some fantastic themes and working with a theme can be really, really difficult, but, um, I really quite liked the challenge of working with a theme. So if you have one of Tracy Tracy's designs um, with the hexagons, or you've got one to feature little woodland animals, um, there's all sorts of bits and pieces here. So this is available for everybody to join in. So I'm going to create one today with the theme Bloom, and I'm going to use my new uh, Words of Wisdom magical set uh, because I love these most of you have had a bit of a play with them um just a little tip how do you get them out of the tube because they don't just pop off like this right you get your scissors you pop it in and it's like a like a um, packet of pringles just pop that baby open okay so the magicals i will be doing lots of demos with magicals over the next couple of days especially this set this is a set of colors that i have designed so we we have got Don't Overthink It Orange, Commit to It Teal, Trust the Process Red, Just Be Kind Co Cobalt, and It Is What It Is Yellow. My words don't want to work for me this morning. So Lindy's Magicals are little bits of fabulousness. They are a pigment dye-based powder that you can add water to or add a liquid to to activate the powder, and you get a lovely little ink that you can play with. So you can color like, um, and use it like a watercolor. But this is my set that I have designed simply because I was looking for, um, looking for something in particular. I was looking for a lovely, bright, almost primary set of, of magicals. Um, so I'm just gonna make these up and I'm gonna use them with a paintbrush today. Uh, so first of all, I'm gonna add a little bit here to my paint palette. So when you're using these, I'm just going to stand up here and see if I can just zoom up just a little. Come on, technology. No, my screen doesn't. Oh, there we go. That just went too far. Sorry, guys. Oh, now I can't go back. Oh, no. Oh, so well. All right, let's see if I can do that a little bit slower this time. No, it doesn't want to do it. Okay. You know, to this weekend, me and technology are just not happening. Okay, I've got my little spoon here. <laughs> and I'm going to pop some yellow in there. And you can see that I'm not adding very much. Just, just a freckle. One thing you do want to do is get the lid back on these babies straight away. Okay, because you really don't want to drop them on your carpet. Drop them, spill them, because they are really difficult to clean up. So this one is the Don't Overthink It Orange. So as you can see, I've named these. <laughs> they are phrases that I use all of the time. I wanted a really lovely pigmented red. Trust the process red. And everyone knows I love a good teal. So this is Commit to It Teal. And then finally, I've got Just Be Kind Cobalt. So these have no shimmer to them at all. They are just a flat magical, which means that they are a really beautiful, heavy pigment. Um, I have got a little pipette here and some water. And I'm going to show you just how much you need to put in them to activate it. So I'm just dropping in half a pipette. 
and I'm just dripping it in nicely and I'm putting the same amount of water in each of them so that, whoops, so that I can mix them all up. Now the cobalt does look quite dark to start with, but the colors do mix up beautifully. Then what you need to do is get that out of the way, is we need to give them a little stir. So I just use the tail end of my paintbrush and dissolve all of that pigment, okay? And as you can see, there's the color of my nails. And that's what this color was, or this palette was originally designed from. So you can see in, I don't know if you can see in the orange, to make up this shade of orange, they had to mix a whole heap of colors together. Okay, so that's how these pigments work. So once you give them a good stir, they are good to go. A little bit of powder there that I haven't activated. There we go. So the other thing that you can do with these is you can um, make them as dark or as light as you like. So I'm just gonna swatch them just to show you uh, how how the colours look and I've just got a this is just a photo mat actually um, so let's just quickly swatch the yellow beautiful vibrant punchy yellow and our orange don't overthink it orange and our trust the process red commit to it till And just be kind, cobalt. So there we go. There's all of those colours ready to go. Right, so our little Thrinchy. What I am going to do, I have got a piece of paper here that is a little bit bigger than 3x3. Three three. This is actually 4x4 four four and... I like to create it, then trim it down after. I find that I get a much more, design-wise, working on a small piece of paper to start with can be a little difficult. But I know that I've got a couple of stamps here that I want to use, and I'm going to stamp those on a separate piece of paper in a moment. But I'm gonna put do my background and then pop that aside to dry. And drink my coffee. Now, the other thing I also need to have handy that I don't have handy, yes I do, is a piece of paper towel, just to dry off my brush in between. The surface that I'm working on here, this is a puppy training pad. <laughs> um, I do like working with the puppy training pad in the background because it soaks up all of the, uh, all of the background. So uh, this is plain Kazercraft white cardstock. Nothing fancy at all. All. And I'm going to get on with, um, oh, did you see that? Bugger. Won't be using the yellow. I'm going to just paint that on nicely. I'm going to go with those two blues. And it's a real watery wash. And then I'm going to go back with the cobalt and I'm going to just drip that over the top and the teal so that I get this really lovely little layered set. And I'm gonna make two, again, just because I'm working on such a little bit of paper. What did I do with them? Oops, here we go. And then I can see which one I like more. And because they're just a lovely little mix of color. So you could do any sort of background here, but I'm just gonna go with a bit of that. And then I'm gonna pop those babies aside to dry just off camera so that they dry nicely and I can hit them with a heat gun when I need to. Now, I've just totally contaminated that and I've also, look what I've done. It's the first time in a while that I've put my brush in my cup of coffee. 
<laughs> Louise is laughing at me. All right, so here's something else. I've just made a green. I've made a green just by mixing the yellow and the blue together. So I'm going to keep that there. And I'm just going to make up another little swatch of yellow over here. Can you believe I did that? Oh, yep. It's been a while. And I'll try not to contaminate my colours this time. Mix, 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 mix. Right, let's just take that out of my coffee and rinse it. Oh, Natalie, Natalie, Natalie. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I've got a couple of Tracy's, uh, Tracy Evans stamps here. So this one is called Scatter Kindness. Now, the theme that I'm working to is bloom. So using a flower makes perfect sense. So... I do love this set. Let's get these babies out of the way over there. Um, so these are a set that you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on. Um, and I'm going to use this one here because it's going to be quicker to cut out. Naomi, you may have made... No, I'm just reading the comments here. Na Naomi, I may have just spat my coffee out because <laughs> I just did that. Yeah, I know. Gosh, I crack myself up sometimes. Okay, so they are a clear stamp, so you need to pull them off the back. And I'm not going to use the whole stamp. But what I am going to do is I'm going to use my stamp press to make sure that I am stamping it where I want it to go. So stamp presses, there's lots of different brands available on the market. Um, I do love me a stamp press simply because they, well, if you mess it up, it's okay to go back and stamp it again. Uh, so how a stamp press works is that you anchor your paper down. I quite often also use some washi tape, which I don't have handy, but I have this little rainbow tape here which is super sticky so I'm just going to take some of the sticky off because I don't have another magnet handy and then I take my stamp and I line it up where I want it to go so I'm just going to put it there like that now I've got a black archival ink here I'm going to open that up and then I'm going to stamp here. So this is the first time I've used this stamp. So I'm just going to season it a little bit. Give it a really, really good stamp. And then I'm going to push down. Now I've got these great little, um, these little knobs here. And I love me a good knob. And what I do is I just rub it over the top and it gives it nice pressure. Not a great indent, not a great impression here. You can see that I've missed some bits, but a stamp press, any brand of stamp press, doesn't matter. I've got a couple of different brands available online. Um, I'm going to re-stamp it and I'm going to give it another go so that it's lovely and black. And I'm happy with that one. Okay, and then I'm going to do another one just in case because that's how I roll. So anchor your paper down so then you can stamp in exactly the same place each time. So I'm using black archival ink um, because I can add water. Well, this the, the magicals have got water in them, so we don't want to lose the integrity of our print. Um, Naomi's just, oh, sorry, Emma's just asking, what am I making? I am making a thrinchy, an all and create thrinchy. So a little three by three piece of artwork using Tracy Evans stamps by all and create. And this is part of the all and create challenge that is, uh, that they currently have online at the moment. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour this. And I'm going to colour this using the Magicals palette. 
that I've got here. Now, my background's drying up nicely in this blue tone, so I really want to use a contrasting color. So I'm gonna use orange and red to get some color in here. Get my coffee cup out of the way so I don't do that again. Now, I'm just lightly gonna paint these. So I'm gonna go in with my orange first, and then I'm just gonna drip in and I'm really quite loose with my colouring because I know that I'm going to cut it out. So it's okay to colour outside the lines. I know, right? Too much red there. That's okay. I can spread it out. Like that. And my flower, I am happy with. So I'm just going to pop that aside to dry. I'm going to do another one. Like I said, rinse my brush off. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to this one. Just see if I like this one more. Yellow around the outside, mix with a little. And I'm, you can see that I'm being loose, like really. It's, it's, I'm gonna cut it out. I'm just gonna splatter some bits on it. Mm, okay, that works. It's a bit too messy, hang on. I'm okay that I've left some white bits as well because white gives dimension. Um, so I'm just going to pop those aside to dry. What I am going to do though is have a look at my two backgrounds here and see what I can build on these. So I'm going to dry them off quickly. So I'm just using a heat tool just to make sure that they're totally dry. And then I'm going to add a little bit of stamping and stenciling to my background. Um, the question, somebody's just asked a question while I'm drying that. Where is that? Shell's just asked the stamp press. Yeah, the stamp press is a game changer. Absolutely. It was one of those tools that I didn't think I needed until I had it. Um, someone's asked, is that a grid paper? Yes, it is. It's just a pad of paper. Um, you can just buy a normal piece of graph paper from Officeworks. That will do exactly the same thing. Um, the stamp press that I am using is one that I've had for years and years and years and I purchased uh, when I was in the States. Um, but all stamp presses work really, really well. So you will have no problems using a stamp press. Any sort of stamp press will work. Okay. I want to build my background here with a little colour, so with a little bit of stamping, sorry. I have got Tracy Evans stamp splattered numbers and I'm going to add that to my background. And I'm not going to use my stamp press, I'm going to use it loose. I'm going to get that out of the way so I don't spill it. My two sets of flowers are currently drying and I'm going to take this and I'm not going to use the whole stamp I'm going to use it like that and you can see that I get this really interesting impression here and I like it and doing it on an angle means that I will get a See how I've got a partial bit of number there? I'm not putting the whole thing down, using it half. I like that. I like this corner. I'm just adding ink to little bits of it. Don't know that I really wanted to do that, but there it is. I've got to do it on both, don't I? Because I'm making two. Happy with that. And while I'm at it, I'm going to add a little stenciling as well. So I'm going to start lifting my layers uh, and I'm going to use some black archival ink and a stencil to add some layers of pattern to my background. So I've got one of these, I've got a couple of different stencils here. This is the dot 
I've got some squares. I might use this one. And I've got my black archival ink and I'm using my um, Ranger tool. And I'm gonna pop these on up here. Like I said, I am gonna cut it out, but see how that just pops those squares over the top? Do the same thing over here. And I might pop some down in this corner. Remembering that I'm gonna cut a lot of this off, I'll be trimming it back and I am perfectly okay with that. So there's no reason why you cannot stencil with black archival ink as well. And to clean off your stencil, all you need to do is hit it with, uh, what do you call it? Isopropyl alcohol. Say that with a mouthful of marbles. Um, I think I wanna grab, I'm gonna do some text stamping, but before I do that, I've got these two little guys here. I'm going to take my flower, I'm going to dry it off, and I'm going to trim them back. So let's dry them off. So 15% off of All and Create. I forgot to do the stem. All and Create stamps, stencils, dies. This are for today only. Um, good opportunity to add some new stamps and a different brand to your collection. Um, and don't forget, you can also join in with the All and Create Challenge as well. So All and Create have currently got the, the Thrinchy Challenge going, which is what I'm creating here. These lovely little super cute pieces of artwork. Uh, let me grab the ones that I did before. So we are working this size and this size. And over on Instagram and also on Facebook, I've also um, I've put photos of these and written down the stamps that I have used. Um, now, if there's something that we don't have in stock, we have just placed a, another large order this morning and they will be in soon. Um, so if there is something in particular that you are after, we can order it in for you um, if we are out of stock. But all in Create come out of London and I do love that they are stamps designed by artists by by creatives like us which is fantastic all right dry 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 come on close enough is good enough and now I'm going to grab my scissors and cut these out there's no magic trick to cutting them out other than having a little bit of patience I know. So you just have to watch me cut paper for a couple of moments. Um, what I do, because I just want this image to be my key piece. So something I always do is get rid of all of this out stuff on the outside. Um, I find it distracting and then I will go in and, and cut and move my paper, not my scissors. Um, now, I won't be using this whole flower on my Thrinchy because, as you can see, it's much bigger. I'm going to use half of it. So I'm only going to focus on cutting out one side of my flower. Why do all of the work when you're not going to see it? That's what I say. So the lovely Tracy Evans, you can follow her on Instagram and Facebook. Um, she does some amazing floral designs. She's a very, very creative lady. Um, I have tagged her in my Instagram posts where I have put my other ones up so you'll be able to see those. Um, but I do love the idea of creating to a theme and that is what... Oh, hello, Amy Morgan. Um, that is what we are up to here. Um, righty -o. Amy Morgan, you're a little out of your depth here, babe. This is this is a crafting channel, not a fabric channel. 
What are you doing popping in to say hey? I've missed your face, girl. Having a little bit of a chit chat here. All right, I am gonna to commit to this side, but I'm gonna come in over here. And go up to this side. Now, fussy cutting is not my favorite sport, as most of you know but this certainly pays off. It looks so very good. You can paper craft. I have seen you paper craft, mate. You have idea. The lovely Amy Kalissa, if you are looking for some wonderful, wonderful um, embroidery and what do you do, Amy? What do you do? You're just a fabric queen. You've got some, um, what are they called? What's that beautiful fabric that you've got? I've got a heap of it at home just because it's pretty and I don't need it. Oh, look at me having a brain fade. I'm all embarrassed now. Link up. Link your link your website in there, honey. Please. Because I know a lot of a lot of paper crafters are crossover crafters. So a lot of us love to do or well, not us, not me. There we go. You just stab fabric with a needle and thread. Oh, instead of people. Of course you do. Link up your website. Um, yes, I know a lot of you do other other sports as well, whether it be embroidery or cross stitch or quilting or netball. netball. No, no, that's just Louise. Louise does netball. Um, yeah, Louise is our is our non crafty. Um, but yes, Amy is. Um, Amy is one of the best people I know, actually. She's a freaking champion. Let's do honesty at its best. There we go. Amy Kalissa. Click on that. Um, and even if you don't have, if you don't do fabric -y things, I'm sure that you do know someone, you know someone who does, and you can get them a unique gift. Supporting local businesses, friends supporting friends. Okay, us little girls here that that have you know had an idea and decided to pop it online and and hope that your little business works, and we do that because of your support. So thank you very much for that, keeping me out of trouble. Liberty Fabric, that's what I was talking about. Oh, Robin, I miss her face too. Anyway, I don't miss doing um, shows on the road. I think um, I can give you so much more when I am online. Don't you think? I think so. I didn't love living out of a suitcase. I liked the after work drinks. Oh, you've been stitching with some of my stamps lately. Oh, 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 oh for journaling. Okay, you've got to send me some photos. So there you go. So what Amy also does um, has got some fantastic kits that she's been doing. And she, I forgot about that, has done embroidery and done some stitching of my stamps. All right, enough waffle. Let's go. Let's make this happen. So here are my two beautiful flowers, half cut out. Here is, this is the size that we're going for, right, which is significantly smaller than this guy here. So what I need to do is grab my trimmer and trim this baby back. I need to be a little bit brutal and get it back to three by three. So because I have created here on a four by four, I know that I need to take some off the side. So let's start with that. And I'm actually gonna take it a little bit smaller than three by three because I'm going to want to mat it on a piece of black so that it is exactly the same as all of my other pieces that I've done. Um, I am using here the Crafters Companion Small Guillotine. This is my little everyday go-to. It is ridiculously sharp. Haven't lost a finger yet. That's good for everyone, but that is what we've got. So now I have got here my two little squares. Um, and before I do anything else, I'm going to pop some double-sided tape on them and pop them onto a piece of black cardstock. Um, and I'm going to create a frame around them like I've done with these guys. All right, so 
Creating these tiny little pieces of artwork are great, but I still follow the whole process of making them all look consistent, making them look the same. Um, they're still going to be visually pleasing and balanced because that's important. Uh, but I will also make sure that, um, that, 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 that they're balanced. The colors work great together, okay? So my little scrap of black here goes like that and then like that. Then I'm going to trim that down. So there we go. Trimming, trimming. And I am an eyeball trimmer. I have a look at what... I'm, I'm one of these people that just goes and trusts my eye and goes, yep, that'll do, that'll do. If you want to measure and cut, you can. Um, but I would love to see you all, because I know there's a lot of you out there, <laughs> there's a lot of you out there that have got All and Create stamps. Okay, so, um, all right. So that's up that way and that's up that way. Here are my flowers. I'm going to pop that guy there and that guy there. Um, something that this beautiful stamp has got is a little bit of script. So I'm wondering about adding some of this script to it. Uh, and let's see if I can make this work without messing it up, or is it gonna to be too busy? Yeah, no, too busy, too much. Get rid of it. Pop it aside. Okay. Happy days. Um, a little bit of black pen around the outside because my cutting is so terrible. So what I like to do is just grab myself a, a, a any sort of black pen. This is a brush pen. And I just go around the edges here and take away that freshly cut look. So if there's any bits that you go and that you miss, like I just did on that stem, you can cover those up. Um, and it takes away the white core of the paper. So that's something that I like to do with mine. Dun, 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 dun. Just chat amongst yourselves. Right, close enough. And I'm going to grab some black cotton Black cotton, just normal, everyday. See, I can do something with cotton. And I'm going to grab that and I'm just looping it on the top in a nonchalant sort of fashion. It's my big word for the day. And I do the same thing over here. Drop, pull, I'm just letting it fall. Hmm. Letting it fall on the top there. Um, and this is adding a little bit of texture to my project. I'm going to grab my Tim Holtz tiny attacher and I'm going to staple that down about there. Now, the good thing about this is that the adhesive that I use to stick down my stamped image will secure the rest of that cotton. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. So see how amazing that contrast looks? So we've got the bright red and orange on here. Uh, and I'm going to use some foam tape to stick up the body of my stamped image. And I'll use some glue to stick down the stem of the stamped image. Uh, but before I do that, let's have a little think here. I did notice that stamp set by Tracy Evans had some super cute little phrases on it. Scatter seeds of kindness. I like that. I'm going to use that, but I might, I might stick it on after as a bit of an afterthought, like I did with this one here. Uh, radio, let's just stick this down. Natalie, stop talking. Now, before I stick that down, I'm going to grab some glue, whack it on the stem.
Donna stuck. And I'm just going to let that sit and dry for a moment. Radio. This is annoying me now. I need to continue to cut that out. I should have done that in the first place. You know, hindsight. So don't forget, when you purchase a stamp, think of, is there more than one way you can use the images? Can you cut them out? Can you layer them? Can you use it as a background? What are all the different ways that you can use a stamp? I kind of quite often, I'll look at a stamp set and go, am I going to use all of those? I really that's not my favorite piece, but that's okay because I love this and I love this and I love the, the words. I don't have to love everything on the page. I need to, on the, on the stamp set, I need to love at least, I didn't take the back off that double-sided tape, did I? Idiot. I need to love at least two thirds of the stamp for me to, to, to open one, to purchase it. Um, and I think that that works really quite well. Oh, then you got good value for money. Okay, scatter seeds of kindness. I'm going to stamp those on um, a back of a scrap piece here and I'm not going to use my stamp press. I'm going to wing it and I'm going to use a little block, which means I'm probably going to mess it up, but let's have a go. I highly recommend a stamp press, guys. It's, um, it is a real game changer. Firm press, yep, nailed it. Firm press, yep, nailed it. Nailed it-ish. Put that away while you remember because it's a little stamp that will get lost on your desk. Uh, I am then going to cut it. Cut, cut and cut. So there's lots of different challenges and some amazing themes this month. Um, and if you're looking for something a little bit different to do, then this might be right up your alley. And then you can get good use of those stamps that you have been hoarding at home. Um, I love the little size of three by three because it's a nice, tidy, little, neat size. Um, I need to outline that. And I am, but I'm not going to do it on camera because you don't need to see it. Uh, I do need to foam tape it onto the, onto the project though. So I don't have any foam tape handy that small. So I'm just going to cut myself some little pieces. Did you turn that heater on, Lou? On. Off, on. Is it, what's it doing? I'm sweating up a storm in here. Whew. All right, I might grab some tweezers because I'm going to mess this baby up. Is that on or off? No, it's off. It is off. Excellent. Look at that. Crafting is exercise. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm heaps funny. Scatter. Oh, I could have trimmed that a bit more. Let's commit to it. And that's why I'm making two. Because if I don't like the first one, I can just go, yeah, I don't need to photograph that. Done. And, and again. So you could do this with a paper trimmer, but um, I'm, I'm, no one's got time to see me fluff around with that for the next five minutes, I can tell you. All right, so jump online to nataliemay.com.au and you will get 15% off of stamps and stencils by All and Create for today only. Uh, they will not be on special tomorrow. You will get 15% off of all stencils today, any brand, except for the Natalie May scrapbooking brand. The uh, the my my stamp what sorry my stamps and stencils will not be on special. You need to have them in your life still. Um, but they are not going to be on special. Um, you oh, here's another one. There we go. Uh, the alcohol inks are also on special today, and 
all in create alcohol inks and stencils there we go i did nail it um righty oh dun 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 kindness there there oh i could have made that a little higher lift it lift it stick it uh and then i will finish it up very quickly with a black pen and do a little bit of a, a black border all the way around uh just to tie it all together um so there you go guys i have made oh, two little thrinchies little three inch pieces of artwork using all and create stamps and the new release natalie may words of wisdom flat magicals um and created something really cool and different uh and i'll photograph these for you and pop them up online so there we go nice punchy color you don't have to think it you don't overthink it you just have to do something that is you know non-complicated vibrant bright says what it needs to say and we all learn something new there you go wonderful and here's the other one all right so that looks cool. So you can see that stenciling in the background. You can see that stamping in the background. The little black doodle border makes a huge difference. There you go. So to be involved in the All and Create Thrinchy Challenge, little three-inch little bits of artwork challenge, you can jump onto their All and Create Fanatics page, um, create a three-by-three-inch little artwork using Tracy Evans stamps. Um, you can use the hashtag on there and then there's 31 different uh challenges there for you things that you can use so there we go guys thank you very much i'm going to take a photo of this project and as i would normally do i will upload it a photo and link the products that i used in the comments um i will be back again at 1 30 today with a little demo using alcohol inks and um i might do another one i might do another little thrinchy but using alcohol inks i haven't quite decided yet we'll come up with something then uh but i hope that you guys all learned something a little bit new today and had a bit of a play um jump online nataliemay.com.au the special is for today only for the all and create stamps 15 percent off stencils 15 percent off and alcohol inks at 15 percent off we can bundle your postage uh, postage is not free. You still need to pay $12.50 for your first one, first order. But if you decide to order again, you can add to your order for $1 using the no judgment um, postage option. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Uh, I will look forward to seeing you back here at 1.30 Adelaide time for another little play date. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, chat soon.